Hello guys, this video is part of my brand new web scraping in Python using Scrapey and Splash course. So if you are interested in learning web scraping, make sure to enroll. I leave a coupon in the description box so you can buy it with $10 only. So far in the previous lectures, I talked briefly about predicates. We used a predicate to get the third item from the items list like this. And we used predicates to select nodes based on the attribute value. So. In a mathematical definition, a predicate is a Boolean valued function. In other words, it's a function that will be evaluated true or false based on a specific condition. Good. In XPath terminology, a predicate is like a filter used to find a specific node that matches a specific condition. It can contain a mathematical operator like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. It can contain a logical operator like AND slash OR. It can contain a comparison operator like greater than, less than, and it can contain even a function. Now back to this example, what if you want to get the third item and the fourth item from the list items? Well, you could think of that you can add another square brackets and inside it you specify the fourth item. But unfortunately, this won't work. Also, you might think using the or logical operator like this, three or four, but you will notice that it returned all the items rather than the third and the fourth one. So the correct way is to use a function inside the predicate called position. So position two parentheses equal three or position between two parentheses equal four. And like this, you will get the third item and the fourth item. We know that the fourth item is the last one on the list. So rather than manually figuring out the index, we can simply use another function called last. So position equal last two parentheses. Also, we can change the number three to last minus one. See, we got the same result, but in a dynamic way. Another method you could think of is to use a comparison operator for example, you can tell XPath expression to select items where the position is greater than or equal three. So this was how you can filter through nodes using the position function. Now I want to show you how you can filter through nodes using their text content. For example, let's say we want to get all the nodes that their class attribute contains the string title. Now, because we are not targeting any specific node, we can use the wired card and then inside the predicate, I'm gonna call a function called contains. We use contains to extract all the nodes that matches a particular text value. It takes two parameters. The first one is where you want to search for that particular value. In our case, we want to look in the class attribute. So add sign class. And the second parameter is the value you are searching for. So between two quotation marks, title. Also be careful with the value you are searching for because it's case sensitive. Good. Our XPath expression returned one node, which is the H4. And you can see that its class attribute contains the string title. There is also another function called starts with. Basically it will search for that particular value in the beginning of the string. So let's say we want to get all the nodes that their text content starts with XPath. So I'm gonna replace contains with starts dash with. This time we are not looking in the class attribute. Instead, we will filter through the text content. So we use a function called text and the value will be xpath with capital X. Good. This expression returned also one node, which is the title node. As you can see, it really starts with the word xpath. Okay guys, this was a quick demo on how to use XPath predicates. As you know, I can't go through all the functions, otherwise it will be a full course on XPath by itself. In the next lecture, I'll give you an exercise so you can test what you've learned in this section.